Congratulate Kath, uh, Kath and Kath and everybody else who's been involved with the M44 FC for putting this event on today. It's been a, been a fantastic, uh, fantastic event. Lots of different activities and the first of many, we hope, to, uh, to show people what we can do by working together. This is not just about FC United, it's about the community from different groups coming together because we're much stronger and we can do much more if we combine our efforts. So there's been people here today from Moston Juniors Football Club, we're obviously going to be working with us uh, into developing the facilities over the road. But also then the co-op who supported this event, people from Moston Brook, from the Shore Start Centre, uh, people from the local Labour Party have been down as well. And we've got to say thank you very much to Lou and uh, everybody here involved in the Moston Miners uh, Community Arts Centre. This facility we want to open up to more and more people to use this facility so we can actually make a real impact in this local area. So, uh, without anything else from me, I just want to introduce you to Paul Murphy, who's been very supportive of us and the, and the development for the grounds. Please put your hands together for Councillor Paul Murphy. Uh, thanks very much, Andy. Um, there's very little I can add to the, uh, the impact I think that today's had and in fact the, the way in which M M M M40 for, for FC has actually began to pull things together. What I'm really pleased about as an elected member here in Moston is that we have the community together, we have the African choir, we've got members of the African community here, all of us together are the community, I think that's, that's number one. Um, it's been a pretty difficult campaign, uh, particularly for myself and, and Councillor Rita Tavner. It's not been easy. Um, we've been accused of all sorts of uh, skullduggery simply because we support this, this community. Simply because we support a community club like FC United. Out of the blue, by the way. Um, so I've just thought I'd tell you and get that in. In fact, there's, there's times when uh, I, I remember the quote of, uh, of Oscar Wilde that said that, uh, that Paul Murphy... Uh, has very few enemies and he's even less friends and that's how I felt at the beginning of this campaign. Uh, but I'm, I'm pleased to say that uh, when I shared the platforms with those that were opposed to FC, it was the equivalent of somebody doing joinery with a chainsaw. That absolutely destroyed themselves, it was something to see because when you base a campaign on innuendo and a nod and a wink instead of facts and figures and real, I think, positive uh, views that should emanate from a community, you will lose. The planning application, Andy and I were both there, as was my colleague Rita Tavern and I. I thought it was heard well, I thought it was well presented. Uh, I think Andy did a fantastic job at the planning committee, measured, uh, explained exactly what we're doing. And, and Andy knows uh, that Rita and I have made it very clear as elected members, we'll be very supportive of FC United, providing you actually make sure the 13 points that we put forward are adhered to. Some are a little bit difficult, but we'll help you with them. But I wanted you all to know that I support FC United. I will continue to support FC United and Moston Juniors, of course. And I look forward to a long and dearing uh, relationship with you here in Moston. So well done, all of you. 